Welcome to Interrogation, a game where two contestants have up to 20 questions to unravel a mystery. There are no prizes. It's all just for fun and glory. First contestant, the category is famous person. Go. Are they famous for acting? No. Are they famous for singing? No. Are they famous for politics? Yes. Are they still alive? No. Were they alive in the 20th century? Yes. Were they a US politician? No. Are they an African politician? No. Are they a European politician? I think some people would say yes. Yes, I'd say yes, European. Okay. I'd say yes is not a a definite. um, hmm. Were they the leader of a world? Okay, let me take that back, sorry. Were they royalty? No. Were they the leader of a world power? I think some would say yes. Were they responsible for starting, I'll say a major war? Starting a major war? Yes. No. I'm gonna need a hint. (laughs) Hint? Yeah. A two here. Two. I think I'm going down in flames in this game. It's okay. Um, They're considered a great orator. A great speaker. They were alive in the 20th century, so that rules out uh, some of the ancient Greek guys. (laughs) It's not Winston Churchill, is it? You got it. I got to make these clues harder. Oh my gosh. Although, although, I'm, I'm, I didn't. What threw me off was that I think he's a Europe, what? he's a European politician. Well, he was an American. No, 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 Becky, he was not an American. Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Yeah. That's part of Europe. Yeah, it's part of Europe. Although there's some that would, well, today, <laughs> some people would say he's not part of Europe. Um, but no, 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 I was, uh, you think so? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I would I would say that threw me off because well because because the uh, the what the European, the European whatever the whatever the European Union yeah is is not the same as Europe <laughs> yeah okay um, yeah I I more think of well I guess I'm thinking continental Europe and and they're not continental Europe um, I guess you know in that regard is neither. Is, uh, Neither is um, the Scandinavian countries, except for Denmark. Yeah. Um, so I hope that I, well, you know. That's all good. Okay. All right. Um, Rick, what can we, um, what else would you like us to know about your uh, book? First of all, give us title again and the main character's name. And this is a, a she is what the daughter of a witch and and a werewolf and a werewolf. Her, her mother's a witch her father's a werewolf. werewolf the title the title of the book is get bent and that's kind of based off the main character uh her name is tamara bentley and uh bent is her nickname oh okay i was wondering where that came from okay um uh, i thought it was supernatural in some way but was, okay bentley okay i get it i get it um are there other characters there 
are involved or is this kind of a soul? Is she kind of a soul? I mean, does she have a love interest or? Um... Tamara, is, Tamara is pretty unlucky in love. Uh, like, you know, her, her, we meet a boyfriend of hers and he's cheating on her, uh, which doesn't make her too happy. But, uh, you know, her family is pretty close. Her family is pretty close knit, despite the fact that her parents have been lying to her entire life. <laughs> um, she's got a younger brother and she's got a best friend who helps her out. But uh, when the when the chips are down, it's pretty much uh, it pretty much comes down to her against a pack of of angry werewolves. Oh, okay. And I assume she survives. <laughs> I'm no spoilers, but oh, uh, just to let you know, be, be, when your parents are a witch and uh, and a werewolf, you kind of inherit certain uh, certain things that make you a little harder to kill than normal. Oh, okay. Well, cool, cool. Okay, folks, uh, this is the fourth in uh, a five-part series competition. Um, uh, please subscribe so you can uh, catch the next one as well as the other competitions that will be on this channel. Uh, if you're a YouTuber or an author and you'd like to be a contestant on this show, there's a link to uh, an application form in the description. Please subscribe. And we will see how, no dear, does after this commercial break welcome back to interrogation no dear yes. um what motivates you uh to do this to, to do your youtube challenge well, to do the saving of of these animals well to do to to do this the saving of the seals i mean the the youtube channel is completely a byproduct of what what i'm doing it's it, it's we're doing this to save seals and to raise awareness, not not for YouTube. Um, but uh, but no, I've I've grown up next to the ocean. I've been surfing, diving, fishing my whole life. I've been I've always seen myself as sort of custodian to to these animals. I've I've dealt with them my whole life and uh, just couldn't bear seeing them like that. Huh. So now is uh, Nam Nambibia. Namibia. Namibia, yeah. Are you are you a native of that country? Yes, yes. I'm uh, I'm fourth generation uh, Namibian. Um, I was born in in one of the big parks. Uh, uh, my parents were working uh, as rangers, and when I was about six years old, we moved to the coast, and I've just uh, been in the ocean ever since. Well, cool, and um. Just out of curiosity, um, do you have? How do you feel about the seals? I mean, I mean, do you, do you like them, or, or is, or I mean, I love them. They're, okay, they're, I, I, they're just kind of like you know, how how do you? I don't know how you can put this. Um, you're passionate about them. Um, uh, absolutely. I've, I've grown up around them. I've studied them. They've been a source of joy for me, a source of income in terms of the work I've done with them. Um, I, they're just, they're such, um, I have these social structures, how they interact with the other and how advanced they are underwater. That just, there's so much to them. Um, I just, I, I've just really grown to, to love, uh, love and admire them. Well, cool. Cool. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Contestant, the category is famous person, go. Is this person dead or alive? Dead. Um, okay, that was not a yes or no question, but uh, try to ask uh, yes or no questions. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, okay, sorry. No, no problem. You can dock two questions. Yeah, that's is, okay. Is this person, um, is this person male? Yes. Um, was this person an actor? No. Was he a political figure? Yes. Um, in a, was he in America? No. Was he an American? No. No, no. Well, was he in America? Was he in America? Um, I mean, what... what was was he an American political figure? Was he an American political person? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Okay. Was he British? 
Yes. Was it Winston Churchill? My gosh, yes. Rick, you have your ass beaten on. Yeah. <laughs> Holy so smokes. Fun. Okay. You, you got, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. By the way, Rick, some, you some told... days you're the axe, some days you're the firewood. <laughs> Well, he told so, me that his family has played the game all all weekend. So I mean, he's been that's the way to do it. If you're gonna play, yeah, we've been we've been warming up. We've been warming up good. <laughs> Obviously, wow. Okay, it's what now? Three to one. That's game. Yeah, three to one. Okay. Um. Well. What? Oh, they. Um. Well, we'll do one more episode, okay? And then, um, whoops. Oh. And um, see you then. <laughs>